Hello everyone and welcome to another Sunday afternoon chat. This chat's not going to last very long. It's going to be kind of short because my son Jamie's down here at the ranch with me. My grandson Kyle, uh, Sherry's uh, uh, guy Jack is down here. and We're going to go to fishing. You see what's behind me in the background? Yeah, that's right. That's my Shell Rotella gas truck boat and that baby's ready to go fishing. And I'm ready to go fishing too. So we're going to be doing that uh, here pretty quickly. So I'm going to make this Sunday afternoon chat. Uh, really, rather short, uh, and I know a lot of you probably, when I say something like that, a lot of you are going to go, yay, Jimmy, yay, Jimmy, yay, Jimmy. We're going to make this thing a little bit short. I'll lay the camera down there and talk just a little bit here for a second. First of all, we had a great church at church today. We had, listen to this, we had almost a packed house. We had almost a packed house. The chopper was on fire. The music was incredible. I mean, it was just great. We packed a pew. We had about 40 people here last night at, uh, at the house for a big crawfish bowl boiled uh, uh, six sacks of crawfish. That's about uh, in, in excess of 200 pounds, close to two, closer to 250 pounds of crawfish. So we had a big, big crawfish boil, about 40 folks here. A lot of desserts, just an old time good thing, like something you're supposed to have on a Memorial Day weekend. But, uh, but the church was absolutely fantastic. I want to give a big shout out right now to President Trump also too. Um, you know, our president finally uh, and, and he could have done a lot quicker. He should have done it a lot quicker, but man, you got to be proud of him. He named the churches as essential. And by golly, the churches have always been essential in America. They are essential right now. They always will be essential. So, but President Trump, bless his heart, he named the churches as essential. Now, he's getting a kickback for it, just like he does everything he does. doesn't really matter what he does. The media is going to get on him. The elitists, the, the evil uh, people that are just, you know, I mean, they, 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 that hate America. You know, they're going to get on the evil people that hate churches. Uh, but, but anyway, he, uh, he named it essential, and it's just absolutely fantastic. There are some churches that uh, probably did not go back today, and, and, and a lot of them are still doing online services, and that's, that's fine. But, you know, I've been talking faith over fear since day one that this thing started. And I still believe it, faith over fear. And I had somebody send me a note and said, Jimmy, I wouldn't get too cocky too quick. And I got a, I wrote a note back because I ain't been cocky at all. If God wants to take me out by the coronavirus, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I'm locked up in a basement somewhere up in uh, wherever Joe Biden's locked up in a basement. You know, I mean, he, he doesn't think he can, but he could catch a coronavirus right there if that's God's plan because God's running this world. Not you and me, not parties, not the president, not anybody. So, and I try to stay away from these politics because I know politics are really divided right now. And a lot of you love Joe Biden. A lot of you love Donald Trump. And some of you even dislike the other guy real badly just as a person, you know. But, but, but what a great deal when the president of the United States of America, irrespective of whatever party he belongs to, I'd say the exact same thing, a president finally names the churches as essential. We had liquor stores named as essential right off the bat. Maybe they were to a lot of people. I guess they were. You know, I won't, I won't knock that right there. But, but, uh, but, but, but the, the churches are finally essential. I think it's fantastic, and we had just such a fabulous church service. And I'm fired up because of it. I'm fired up because of it. But I'm fired up that I'm getting ready to go fishing with my son and my grandson uh, here today. And my future son-in-law, Sherry, got this big ring that, like, I'm telling you, this ring, she'd knock your eyes out. She said, Dad, 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 look at my new nails. My nails look nice. This big ring, you know, shining back there. I said, yeah, your nails are beautiful, baby. French tips. I love those French tips. They look nice. Oh, nice ring, too. <laughs> Custom made uh, uh, an engagement or wedding band, whatever you call it there. I'm not sure. I guess it's a wedding ring. I'm not, I've been married for so long, I don't even know about that. Chris and I took a couple of those back when we got married. A long time ago, 56 years ago, when we got married, we took a couple of them bands they put on cigars. We don't smoke, but I found a couple of them bands on cigars. They were gold, shiny looking, real pretty. And that's what we used when we started out. <laughs> Uh, she's got better range now, so don't you girls start sending me cards and letters in uh, uh, talking about that. But anyway, we've had a great week this week. We had a great night last night to kind of cap the week off on a Saturday night. Had a lot of friends over here uh, from our church, uh, a lot of friends that I know in this area. We've lived down here in southern Oklahoma at this ranch for now for quite a few years, so we have a lot of friends in this area. And, uh, and everybody just had a, had a ball, just had a blast, you know. We, uh, we just had so much food, it was amazing. We had leftovers today. That was our Sunday lunch today, leftovers. And, and uh, we, ate, uh, we ate crawfish again. We had barbecue chicken again. We had all those desserts again. We had potato salad. Uh, we had cucumbers and tomatoes and, and uh, uh, onions 
and a big salad and all that come out of our garden. <laughs> I, I thought maybe it did, but it was it was in Walmart sacks. <laughs> I guess Chris wants to use the Walmart sex to go up there and pick them. But our garden is doing good. I'll, I'll take a look. Let's take a look at that garden some. But our garden is doing good. But we, we, had a, we had a fantastic week this week. You know, I had some guys come in here and we fished one day. Uh, we actually fished another day or two and had, had, a, had a great time. It's actually just been a, a fantastic week. And, and uh, we've got a lot of the family down here right now. Packed a pew at church this morning and uh, filled the thing completely up and just had a great deal. we got a great week coming up this next week. Uh, I've got... Richard Jean, the fishing machine, is coming down to visit me. That's right. He lives in Geraldine, Alabama, and, and Richard's going to come over here and spend a, a couple, two or three days with me, and we're going to do, uh, do some fishing for our show on the Discovery Channel and on, uh, on uh, uh, Pursuit and on CBS Sports and Heartland Network and AT&T Sports Southwest, quite a, other, quite a few other networks, WFN, quite a few other networks. Richard and I are going to do a couple shows. We're going to be doing some stuff for his YouTube. Uh, if you're not on uh, uh, Richard Gene, the Fishing Machine YouTube channel, go over and check it out. He's got a really big YouTube channel, got over 160,000 people on it, and uh, and he just does a great job. He's just a, he's a godly man, a fun man. I've visited with him on the phone a few times, and can't wait for Richard to come here and spend a couple days with me. We're going to have a blast. So we'll be fishing with Richard Gene, the Fishing Machine, this week. So go over and check out Richard's channel and uh, and, and and see what kind of a guy he is, because I think that he's the kind of guy that I'm going to really like hanging out with and. Uh, and we're, we're going to have we're going to have a lot have a lot of fun. Look what just showed up. Look what just showed up. She heard me down here talking, and Lucy come to see me. Lucy come to give me a little sugar. Hi, Lucy, baby. Lucy's doing really good. Lucy's still got a real big belly over there. So we're hoping, we're hoping that Lucy is uh, is bringing us another little Lucy. She's still got a nice big belly, so she hadn't had it yet. Uh, it looks a little smaller than it did this morning. I don't know. You don't have a baby hit out somewhere, do you? I don't think so. Milburn's a little horns. He's not going to be a bit much of a buck, but his little horns is getting a little bit bigger. He's doing pretty nice. Doing pretty nice there. But they heard me talking down here on the dock, and they thought I was fishing. They come down. They come down here to go fishing with me. But, but anyway. So, so we're going to have a great week fishing with Richard Jean, uh, the fishing machine, and we're really, really looking, really looking forward to that. So I want to thank all of y'all for uh, being involved with our Catch of the Day channel or other channel on YouTube. Catch of the Day channel, uh, we post a, a, a video up there every morning, post it at 5 o'clock. I think this week somehow the time got typed in a little bit wrong, and I think it typed, type, type, uh, tape maybe or uploaded maybe at 6 or 7 o'clock instead of 5. But uh, uh, that's, uh, that's Pat's fault. That's not mine. But... Uh, <laughs> Blame Pat. Blame Pat. And uh, I'm going to tell you, you, always blame the camera guy. Always blame the production guy. If something goes wrong with your deal, blame the production guy. That's just been doing, done for years. It's kind of like women. Always blame their husband. And husbands always blame their wives. <laughs> So that's exactly the way it works. But anyway, uh, we, we got that posted. But uh, our Catch of the Day channel, if you're not subscribed to that Catch of the Day channel, make sure you get over and get subscribed to it. Uh, we put up a, it's got a, we got a fishing tip for every day, a scripture for every day, and a devotional for every day. And, and it'll make your day better. It'll make your day better. I promise you, it'll make your day better. So beyond that, uh, we have over 50,000 people on this Jimmy Houston Outdoors YouTube channel right now. Be sure to share everything you can. We're going to want to get this thing up to 100,000. We're... Uh, we're gonna. We're trying to catch up with Bill Dance and Roland Martin. Uh, both those guys have got great YouTube channels. I love them both. They're both great guys. Roland's getting close to a hundred thousand. He's getting close to a hundred thousand. So he's up there. Bill's got it a little bit more than me, but not much. But, but uh, both those guys are doing a great job. If you want some fishing knowledge, those are the two net two channels you need to be subscribed to for sure because those guys will really teach you a lot about fishing. Both of them taught me a lot about fishing. I've fished with both of them a lot over the years, and and they've taught me a lot. Every time I get in a boat with them, I learn. So every time you get in a boat with them, you're going to learn too. I promise you. So uh, I appreciate that. Thank thank you for that. I really appreciate it a lot. Uh, I just wanted to give you uh, one thing to kind of think about out there this week because uh you know i had a couple comments uh, that uh, in the last few days it's really uh one of them called me a racist <laughs> because i have a as he put it a native american named apache working for me so that was a racist and uh but uh, apache is not a, a native american he's a mexican uh, i'm married to an indian we do have a native american we have an I, i'm married to an indian but pa apache apache is uh, apache is is a mexican he's not he's not He's, not, he's got some Indian blood in him, and he's really proud of that, and I, I'd be proud of it too. I don't have any Indian blood in me like people think I do, but I don't. But, uh, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> but I am married to an Indian. 
but and also we've got we just had a few bad comments and 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 then I, I, I've been in some of the comments. I know some of y'all have been chastised out there for things. Ojibwa mentioned that people were saying he was selfish and arrogant and and ugly because he wanted to go back inside a church and worship with people again and and he just you know being arrogant and ugly, look, well looking out for himself and nobody else and not caring. But but uh, but here's what I want you to think about this week and because. Good people are going to get persecuted just simply because they're good. I mean, that's, that's right. That happens that way. Uh, the most perfect man that ever walked the earth was God himself in the form of Jesus Christ, and they hung him on a cross. So they're going to say some bad things about you at work. They're going to uh, say some bad things about you because you just go to church. They're going to say some, and they're going to judge everything you do a lot harsher than they would anybody else because they said, oh, he's a Christian, yet he does such and such. And, 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 and so, you know, two things I want you to think about. One is live your life like you think God wants you to live it. Put him first, honor God in all you do. That won't give them too much to talk about. That won't give them too much good to talk about. The other thing is... You know, when somebody gets on to you and really starts complaining and saying bad things about you, uh, just pray for them, bless them, and let it roll off your back, just like water off a duck's back. Don't let it get to you. Just If you'll just pray for them, bless them, don't worry about it. Just kick it out and don't worry about it because the only thing that really matters is not their, what they feel about you. It's what God feels about you. And if you're doing the right thing, if you're thinking the right thoughts, if you're doing the right actions, saying the right words, God's pleased and he's happy with that. So don't worry about what people are saying about you. Don't worry about what people are talking about you. Uh, I mean, when you think about it, how in the world would you like to be president? You know, the last three or four presidents we've had have had basically half of the people in the country you know, against them. And you know, some of the presidents we've had recently have pitted groups of people against each other out there. And that's not the way America is. You know, this is Memorial Day. This is when we honor those who have given their lives for this great country. And all I tell you to think about from that regard is these men and women gave up their life to keep America, America. And so that's what we ought to be thinking about too, keeping America, America. And not worrying about what people says about us because what party we might belong to or not belong to, what church we go to or don't go to, whether we go into a church building or don't go into a church building, how they treat you at work, how they treat you at the grocery store, absolutely just let it roll off your back. It, it, you know, Hank Parker made a statement to me one time that I was all worried about something and somebody had said something and I was just getting my little feelings hurt. And, and he said, Jimmy, he said, 10,000 years from now, it'll not make any difference. Well, you don't have to wait 10,000 years for it to not make any difference, I can tell you, because I can't even remember what that was that I was so upset about. But when people say something about you that's bad, when even, true or untrue, doesn't make any difference, just let it go. Let it go. Pray for them. Let it go. You know, if it's a really big thing, a really ugly thing, they said a really bad thing, just give it to God. God, this is, that, that's what King David used to do. He'd just give it to God. God, I got a real big problem out here. I don't sure, I'm not sure I can handle it myself. But, uh, so I'm just going to let you take care of it. And he'd go on about his business. And that's what you need to do. And that's what I want you to do this week. Because there are a lot of bad things being said bad about churches because they're opening back up. There are people, things being said about the president because he deemed the church an essential thing in the United States of America. And they're on his case about it big time. But let me tell you, let me tell you, believe what you believe and hold it dear. Honor God, put God first in your life. Everything else is gonna fall into place. Don't let them bug you a bit by what they say about you. And I get a lot of nasty things said about me on YouTube, that's for sure. But I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about, honoring God, putting Him first in my life. Go out there and have you a great week this week. It's going to be a great one. We'll have some stuff coming up on YouTube with Richard Gene, the fishing machine. I can't wait. Guys and girls, have a great one out there today. And just remember, I love you.